Hey, what's going on everybody? Chris here. I am here to do a review of the GoPro Hero 10. It is an action camera. Well, you can also film in 5K, 4K. I am going to kill two birds with one stone. I do have the media mod. The media mod is something that you connect to the GoPro and you could put microphones and it has a microphone too and the sound does help as well. It has some hook-ins that you could uh, put in the microphone. So not just that, one thing about the GoPro Hero 10 is this camera shoots in 5.3K at 60 frames per second, 4K at 100 20 frames per second, 2K 143 uh, frames per second, and not just that, you have a 23 megapixel sensor on it. The thing about that is that uh, this can replace a camera that you have for a movie camera, or even a point and shoot camera, or even um, something such as if you have a Canon camera that you're filming with this can be a replacement to that. The media mod also as well does help you out. You have a lot of things to um, put mics up on the top. I did get this camera to take the Comic Cons with me in order for it to be a um, camera that I use for interviewing and a lot more um, filming. It is a great camera to use. Um, I can compare it to the Action 2 camera with DJI and both are great comparisons and great cameras. So basically those of you that are looking for a good replacement camera just starting out to film, um, I recommend this, this camera. Now the thing about the Mod 2 is people want to know is it worth getting? Yes it's worth getting. Just because you have plugins in the back that you can plug your mics to and you can put your microphone right there. Um, you can put it on your tripod or up here too. If you have more than one mic, you can film off two mics at the same time. Now, the thing is, is like I will complain about GoPro is you are not able to film in 23 frames per second on 5K. What's wrong with you, GoPro? I know that GoPro will release that in a future firmware update they always come through and GoPro was smart enough to put a uh, front screen so you can see yourself and do whatever filming that you have to do. Now the great thing about this is that yes yes you can green screen with it you can chroma key yourself out or in a different scene if you're using a green screen blue screen it is great to have. We also do have the video mic me C and this Rode microphone goes in either to your GoPro or it can go into your Action 2. So this is what the video mic me C sounds like with the microphone in it and you can hear a comparison. The windshield, not only the windshield, the mic and you have an adapter that comes with it as well and um, you could hear a huge difference. So not only that, this camera is going to replace a lot out there. Canon big cameras, um, a lot of movie cameras use this on production and what's great about this is that you can do a lot of things with this small camera. Even though it's small, well it's also good too that you can do 5K, 4K, high quality filming as you go. Now the remote control is really awesome as well just because you could point, shoot, connect, turn on and record and then you're on your way to another awesome video. Now a lot of people want to ask if this is waterproof or um, water resistant. Yes it is. The, uh, the, the lens that they put on it um, like if you go underneath the waterfall, in the swimming pool, the beach, etc. Well, this lens will protect it. So this has been my review of the GoPro Hero 10. I will do side by side comparisons in another video as soon as the weather gets great since in Washington State, you know, it's really cold outside and you really can. Leave some comments, 
subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and hit that like button and hit the notification button as well and as always my name is chris this has been a top global media and i will see you in the next one bye for now